How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the credit grind. Hopefully you're all doing well. We're going to be playing the good old AMX as always. And uh, yeah, we're going to apply some boosters, see how much we can actually earn as always. But let's just get straight into this. Let's skip all the little formalities intro. I do hope you're doing well though. Ah. Uh... Come on, say it with me. Minsk. We love Minsk, don't we? <laughs> Oh man. Okay, so what are we going to do in Minsk? Well, I think that by now you pretty much know how I play this map on heavies. We go to around here and hope for the best. Honestly, that's all I do. Um, hopefully we can meet like the... I don't really want to meet the Type 4, but he looks like he's not going to be pushing all the way across. So that's good. It's fine. They fired. I'm just going to auto aim at this. Okay, no, I'm not. No, 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 please, 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 please. Go in. Go in. Uh, don't side scrape on a corner where people are going to go into. Right. As you know by now, we angle like this in the AMX because that gives us the best possible opportunity. We can hide this cupola as much as we can and also we can then hide this kind of angled bit here and the lower plate is like stupidly strong on this because it's so well angled. But what we can do is actually push forwards because Patriot's gone forwards and he has not been shot at. So we can go to a kind of a hold down spot but unfortunately we can't actually go hold down um, because as all of you know, it has a little bit of a, uh, yeah, on top of the tank. So that's a, this is like a, an amazing place to go for a Patriot. Not so much for the uh, AMX. So we're just going to go like this instead. Hopefully we can actually pen his Capola. No. Unlucky. We should be able to bounce this, uh, this defender. Where did he actually pen? I don't really know. I can't even tell on this camo. Nice. And I think he just hit the um, the wall in front of him, which is really really good for us. Really. Oh, he's firing heat. Okay, yeah. That's obviously it's going to pen. Uh, okay. I turn my attention to this AT-15 now then. Because he looks like he's going to approach me in a second, maybe. I don't need to keep fighting them. And I'm now a one-shot, so I could turn my attention to this corner. They can't really push across because they'll get cross-fired a lot. Um, so yeah, it's just about waiting them out. Hopefully it goes okay. Just about waiting. One. Two. Two? Two. Okay, we fired two. But then backed off, so he's probably on reload. I can't keep peeking this. Ah! Bit of a shame. I would like to be farming them, but it's just not possible at the moment. Oh. 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 He should be getting crossfired, but, you know. Yeah. Nothing I can do against him. Um, he's tracked, though, so he should die for it. He dies for it, but we then, I mean, he basically ruined our game and our game only for no reason. Just, just weird. I don't know why people just YOLO like that, because it's obvious that they're going to die. Like, even though that he puts one in, he's dead. 
Like he just he literally just sacrificed all his hit points for one shot of damage. If we didn't get blocked by this guy, then we would have been able to take the hit and we would still be alive now, but it's whatever. I can't change that now, can I? Oh well. Alright, so we earn 81k. Obviously, it wasn't what we wanted out of the game. Um, but I can't really blame anyone else other than myself. So, you know, it's fine. At least this guy had a good game, right? Like, whatever. Let's move on. How much did we actually earn altogether? Uh, 68k. Okay, so it's not too bad. Um, even for a, a loss like that. Um, how much? It's 11k, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't want to. I don't want to use free XP because I want to save that for unlocking modules on the the actual grind series. So, uh, one more game and we should have enough to then get the first field mods for this, which is going to be nice. Okay, into the next game. Okay, Lakeville, one RT. We're going to. Uh, this isn't the best side for the um, the valley because obviously we don't get the spot up uh, over here, um, but we can still make it work. Hopefully. Let's see. We have a Scottish 56 on our team, which is really nice. Um, and they matched him up against an IS3. <laughs> Good job, Wargaming. Your balancing department are working well there. Oh, man. Yeah, this guy could just have a uh, an insane game here, actually. With his little mouse on the back. I say little. Okay, let's see who is here. Obviously, the S51 is going to be slightly annoying. We get the spotting for that, so I'm not even too fussed that, you know, we didn't get anything. Or any damage. Nice. Put one in. They don't really stand a chance, honestly, at this distance, especially when they're firing standard rounds. I'm going to medkit that, and hopefully, yes. Okay, now what we should do is just push. Go. I'm going to put one into, no, okay, I was hoping to put one into there. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hopefully we can bounce, we can. There's a, there's a Yagpanzer right there. Unlucky. But we're going to go up the top and hopefully we can then uh, farm some people. I think he's going all the way across to try and escape. Oh, he's not. I'll repair this though, because that's going to get annoying. Try and angle my uh, gun up so that we can block the cupola as well. Put one more into this guy. All right, we need to keep these remaining hit points that we have. Okay, buddy. Chill out. He shouldn't be able to pen me like this, though. Unless he hits the cupola. Okay, that was a dodgy... A dodgy shell. There we go, that's better. Now we can push forwards, and hopefully we can shoot this tiger at least once um, without the uh, Skoda just suddenly obliterating him for 1k hit points, you know? which is always good. Very balanced tank, that, by the way. Yeah. I don't have intuition on this, do I? No. There we go. At least that's gone. Should be able to spot the tiger. Even if he doesn't fire, we should be able to spot him when he moves. 
I doubt that he's going to move like this way again. Go for a blind shot. We don't get spotted for it. Just keep trying to hit some blind. There's an S1 at the very back, and there also is a T78, so. That's got one in. He's gonna now die. Did you just feel the balance? He took three shots and died. Man. Trying to shoot the T78 because he's not spotted this whole game still. I'm just gonna shoot some obvious bushes that he might be in. Should really push up. There's the SU. He dies just before, unfortunate. Um Oh, he's stuck. Poor guy. T-78 is still around, though. Just trying to get some shots at this guy. Man, this is so unlucky actually with this gun at the moment. Like, the gun's just misbehaving. There we go. Being in that cap is not ideal. I really don't know where this T78 is. He hasn't shot me yet. He has to be around here. Maybe behind this barn, actually. No, I saw the splash behind it. Just going to hold the shot. T78 might reveal himself. Nope. Okay. Put one in. Right, well, at least we uh, we get a win. We get a decent amount of damage. Maybe some blind shots hit. I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, so no, none of the blind shots hit. Uh, unfortunately, this guy got 2k damage. Wow. Did he, like, receive any hits? He received one hit. Okay, so 75k for that. Not bad. Uh, yeah, let's continue. Hang on. Can we... It's only 800. I'll earn that back. Okay. Right, now we're moving on to the next one. And then once we do that, we unlock this. So then we can actually put this on. And we get some more um, better terrain resistances and stuff like that. Okay. Continue. Ah, uh, yes. We're getting some great maps today, aren't we? Okay. It's not too bad. Um, all things considered. Also, I just drank coffee. You ever get that thing where you then, like, struggle to kind of speak after you just had a drink? Hmm. Yes. Ah, good. Look at this. Uh, have you ever seen such expert balance? <laughs> oh, can we keep it on? Look, see? There we go. Look, just fling it off. Get rid of it. Don't need it. Oh, it's jumping. It's got a mind of its own. Anyway. Hello, Chrysler. And VK. Where's the VK gone? Wait. VK? Um. I'd like to report a missing VK. It was last seen in the uh, D7 area of Glacier. Um, on the EU1 server. Oh. We've discovered him again. Now, there is a Scorpion and an SU-101, which is not really what you want to have at the back of the map, really, is it? Um, 
And I can't really fight this VK because of that. Because I can't overpeak this. Because as we all know, as soon as I try to overpeak something, I suddenly just get absolutely, like, smacked by everything at the back. Although we can just put a cheeky little shot into him. Bye bye, v uh, Chrysler. See you later. We might be able to put one in, actually. Nice. Scorpion is over here. That gives me hope. Uh, but still, uh, the SU has not been spotted yet. The AMX has. I mean, I would assume that the SU is, like, pushing and stuff, but maybe not. Okay. Let's um, pull back a little bit. Kind of slow things down and see if we can actually shoot the people that are over this side of the map. Hopefully we can. We might even get someone that will push down here. There's the CDC. Good shot to him. FV pushing. Gonna push down here. Unlucky. That was actually well aimed, but we just get a little bit unlucky. Uh, okay. It's actually fine. I'm just going to push this way then. Maybe the issue is here. I'm not sure. We're still going to find out what's at the back exactly. Our team's pushing this, so I should be safe to actually push around and try and kill this FV. FV does have enough pen uh, to cause me issues, but yeah, we should be okay. See, him pushing that way is just... Yeah. I mean, now he dies. I don't have intuition. Oh, okay. Intuition is like the best perk in this game, I swear. Go on, peek me again. Come on. I should be able to spot him when he moves. Come on. Just peek it. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, that's what we like to see. Nice 400 damage to him. Preload AP for the next shell because he's going to still be there. <laughs> see you later. Oh, what is this? Well, at least I get the assistance, right? I don't understand how that can even happen. A fully aimed shot and it just goes nowhere close to where I was actually aiming it. I mean, I guess the issue is up here as well. Maybe I'll just sit back rather than pushing because if I push it's not going to be actually that useful. I mean I'm spotted. They're both up there. Oh this gun sometimes man, honestly. Well, he's dead.
Just got pushing down. I mean, I was expecting the Amex to die, but he's clearly not. There we go. 2.4k is good. Uh, 600 assistance as well, so 3.1k combined, which is very, very nice. And we earned for that 117k, because we did get a uh, mission done uh, for 30k credits, which is always nice to have. Um, okay. Right. We are doing good so far. Uh, so far, we have earned 261k credits, which is very, very nice. Um, averaging about 2k damage, as I've already said, I want to get this up to around about 2.5k, but honestly, I'm happy with that, fine, it's whatever. Uh, already at 21% after 7 games, so it is looking good. Let us continue for our last game of today. Okay, we get a tier 10 game, which I'm not really, you know, happy about, but let's see if we can make it work. Um, now, for Cliff... The problem is, we we'll just got tracked. The problem with Cliff is that you can't push up here because by the time that I push up here, um, I'm going to get crossfired, um, either by people, so like people up on the hill, and people down here. It's just a nightmare to deal with. Okay, so I'm going to go down here, and we're just going to play a little bit passively um, and play that kind of support role because you're a tier eight. You're not going to be able to do a load. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can actually get some use out of the game that way. But we'll, we'll have to see. Oh, he looks like he's really enjoying himself. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Also trying to maintain distance from this bush as well. Because, uh, well, for obvious reasons, right? I don't want to get spotted. I can let the ST2 do the spotting and then... Hopefully I can just shoot whatever he spots. Again, just playing the support role. We don't need to be frontline tanks all the time. Just because you're a heavy tank does not mean that you need to be the first person all the time. Like, if you're in bottom tier, it's not worth it. Unlucky. The shell just didn't go where we aimed it. Went in? Maybe? I'm not sure. Hopefully. Is he really still peeking this? Gonna move back slightly to try and block some more damage because he's this guy's obviously getting shot at. Um, and the SD2 is very, very visible there. A lot of the time when you're in bottom tier, it's just about patience. And while I don't I don't think for one moment that it should be plus two, um, especially at tier eight. Tier eight matchmaking is just awful when it goes to plus two because there's so many tanks in tier 10 which are even just broken like for normal tier 10s to play against. So yeah, playing in a tier eight is not really exactly fun. This is going to be a loss, unfortunately. I'm going to push forward, hopefully take some, get some damage into this Oho. It's far in uh, HE. Man, really? Come on, I'm going to try and track him actually. What? That's one track, right? Uh, man. This gun really is trolling us.
Now, either I hit that or the ST1 high rolled. He's got 440 alpha. Okay, well, I'm dead now. Well, GG. There's <laughs> nothing you can do when it's a tier 10 game and it's just a complete turbo game as well. Hey, we got 1.2k out of it, so it wasn't a complete fail, but yeah, I mean, uh, nothing you can do. Like, if you're bottom tier in this kind of matchup, there's just nothing you can do. You just play your support role and just try the best, try your best, but at the end of the day, it's not down to you, really, to carry the game. Especially against tier 10s, it's just not. Like, your tier 10 should be doing a lot more than you. And the fact that a VZ55 done nothing, um, A75 done nothing, like... I don't know, like, I don't know their situation or whatever. I'm not going to, like, begrudge the player, but... It's... It, 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 there's nothing that you can do in that kind of scenario. So we earned 21k, even though that it was a loss and we didn't really do that much damage. So overall, we earned 282k, um, which is not bad, not bad. 75% um, win rate as well. If only we had won that last game, it would have been 100. And uh, yeah, 21, nearly 22%. Not bad. So overall, our stats are 2k damage and um, yeah, 300, 400 assist. We'll get it up. We'll get it up with the more games that we play, the better it will become. So hopefully you did enjoy the credit grind. As always, if you did enjoy this video, it is completely free to click that like button and subscribe. And uh, if down the line you feel like you want to unsubscribe, then that's fine too. Comment of the day today is going to be it's OK. Um, yeah, because, you know, you have these bad games, you have good games, but you need to just remember it is OK to lose games. As long as you're learning from them and as long as you know what you're doing like wrong um, and stuff like that. And sometimes it isn't your fault. Okay. Sometimes. Most of the time it is. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes there isn't much you can do. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.